Hi, today I'm going to go over the basics of the anatomage table, located next to the front desk on the main floor of the Eccles Health Sciences Library. The table has an easy to use touchscreen interface. We have a male model loaded for the table which we'll interact with now. You'll notice icons to the side which allow you to orient yourself. There's the front view of the model. You can see the model from a side view as well as a top view. Let's orient ourselves back to the front view and get started. There are two sliders here on the bottom. One is brightness and one is contrast. We'll start with the brightness and you can see as I move it to the left, it slowly removes layers starting with the skin and eventually going to the skeletal system. The bottom sliders, the contrast slider, displays more detail, including the veins, arteries, and nerves. If I want to cut into the body, I can do so by using the slicer tool. I'll simply select the tool, draw a line from any angle, then tap on the side I wish to remove to make a cut. I'll use one finger to rotate the body in the direction I want to see it in. I can also zoom in with two fingers to get a closer look. Again, I could rotate the body now using one finger, or if I wanted to move the body around the table, I can do so using two fingers. I can also move that slice by using the slider on the side and move the slice up and down from the body at the angle created earlier. By selecting the eye icon, I can now see different menus of systems of the body. I can choose to turn those off and let's select the muscular, skeletal, and cardiovascular system. Now we'll select done and we can see that those systems are the only ones we see. The profile icon with the question mark will allow me to isolate different parts of the body. I'll select the area around the heart to now see that organ isolated from the rest of the body, where I can then use the slider tool to again see different angles of a cut. To discover the name of a body part, I can select the icon with the spine and a question mark, then tap where I want a label. I can also extract different parts of the body by using the extracting icon and selecting what I want to remove, automatically labeling as we go. Another helpful tool is the dissection tool. This tool will allow you to make an incision somewhere on the body, select that incision to then go into a layer. I'll then select OK to penetrate all structures. Then we'll wait for it to load and select that incision again to then go layer by layer, again having it label as you go along. You might also choose to annotate on top of the body, which you can do by selecting the pen tool, picking a color, then drawing on the table to indicate or identify certain areas you'd like to highlight. You can then save a screenshot by going to the camera icon picking your flash drive, choosing a name, and then selecting save. So there you go. There's an overview of the basic tools offered for the gross anatomy models. By selecting the start button, I'll get a menu of other options to explore. This includes high definition regional anatomy. If I select that, I can see different areas or systems or organs of the human body and select what I'd like to look at specifically. I can choose to close that, go back to the menu, and select Image Library. This includes a repository of hundreds of images compiled by the Anatomage group that are sectioned in different folders indicating different areas of the body. Thanks for joining me. Come and explore the table for yourself. Remember, there's always somebody to help. Whether it's somebody from the front desk, setting up a consultation with a librarian, or going to our website at library.med.utah.edu.